Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to build our first real grid with Lost. Now, this is going to be some basics, but it's going to show you just how cool Lost is to get started really super quickly and just throw a basic Lost column property on your element and just how much that actually takes care of for you. So let's get going on that right now. <music> Okay, so in the last video, we got all set up with post CSS. Now, what I've done is I've gone ahead and made a section with five divs inside of it. And as you can see by looking at our CSS, we really just have a height and a background color assigned to each of the grid items. Now, grid one is the section container for this grid that we're going to be using. Now, let's go ahead and use a lost utility. So we can say lost hyphen utility and then colon and then clear fix. Now this is going to make sure our container has a clear fix on it. Now what we want to do is come here and we can say something like uh, dot grid one and then div to look for any divs inside of grid one. And now we can go ahead and say that the uh, lost hyphen column, like what we saw in the last video, is going to be equal to one divided by two or one half. So looking at this, we should see, essentially, uh, since we have five, we should see three rows, each with two uh, of these grid items and the last with one grid item. Um, and they're gonna be this background color height of 100. So let's refresh in our browser here. And it looks like this section isn't going, getting the full width. So on our grid one, we wanna say 100%. So now our container width is 100%. And actually I'm gonna throw a margin bottom on each of these two while we're at it of just 20 pixels. Okay, now let's come and refresh our browser. And as you can see, this is what we would have expected. It has three rows, each with two items in there. You can see that the first one has the gutter and the second one does not. So this is really super nice. You, you'll see some extra padding and stuff on here, like uh, on the body in HTML. We don't have uh, a normalized CSS normalized in here right now. So uh, it's getting some default browser styles. But other than that, the grid system is looking mighty fantastic. Now let's actually come back here and let's change this uh, like we did in the last video from one half to one third. You can refresh and you can see instantly without having really to tell it a whole lot, it, it gets this cycle and the grids correct. Again, we can just keep changing this and refreshing and as you can see it's just so easy we didn't have to really tell it a whole lot we didn't have to tell it the cycle we didn't have to tell it really it just knew what to do now let's go ahead and add some divs to this div grid item so we can come here i'm just going to say nested grid item actually i'm going to make two of these like so Okay, now nested grid item is going to get a different color here. I'm just gonna make this, uh, let's see, nested grid item. And this is just going to be a BG um, red because I don't I wanna look up a color for this right now. And we can come here and give this a height of, let's just say 50 pixels and a margin bottom of 10 pixels, okay? So what's interesting here is that this grid is now saying any child of grid one that's a div, apply this one fourth lost column to it. So let's actually see what happens when we open this up now. So as you can see, this is really super cool. It's using actually the same gutters because we haven't told it otherwise yet, but it's taking the two divs inside that are nested inside of this div and it's making them take up uh, what is in total half of this parent. So it's one fourth and one fourth. Just like if we were to modify this and say one third, let's refresh. 
you can see that the children are getting that rule as well and taking up a third. But this was so little CSS to do this. I mean, we really had one line here and it's taking care of the grid, it's taking care of the nested grid. The only thing it's not doing is giving us a ton of control yet. But that doesn't mean that Lost doesn't give you that control because certainly you can control everything with Lost. In fact, Lost gives you access to a lot of properties. We can use Lost hyphen cycle to modify the cycle or you can simply add the cycle in here. So let's say this is three, it's going to now manually set the cycle to three. That really just controls this nth child right here. For instance, if you wanted your, uh, let's say for some reason you wanted your grid to be like three sixths, right? When we use this cycle of three here, it still uses three N instead of the denominator here. So if we were to get rid of this, save this like so, you can see it's gonna say every six children uh, get rid of the margin right. Since this is essentially one half, three six, we actually want this to be a two. And now that's going to make sure that when we come back to our page and refresh, that it is in fact getting the correct margin right. Like I said, if we were to just simply remove this cycle, now let's see it in action. You can see that the margin right is being applied to the sixth item and that's totally incorrect. Now we could also come here and let's say we want uh, each of these to be one third, but we want the cycle to be something like two. So every two uh, get rid of the margin right. Now in addition to removing just the margin right, it's also clearing left on the every third item. So this one we're also getting a clear left, which is adding this to the next row. And if we wanted to modify the gutters, we can do that with just another property here. Let's say we wanted to use something like 15 pixels instead of 30, refresh, and that trims our gutters to 15 pixels. Now there is a ton more in this lost grid. In fact, just to give you a little bit of a glimpse, you can see all of the features that come in here. They even do a nice comparison uh, against all the other major grid systems like Suzy, Jeet, uh, Foundation, and Bootstrap. And you can see you can use it with Silas, a Stylus Less Sass. Uh, and it has all of these different types of grids, vertical grids, waffle grids, flex box grids. Uh, fixed gutters. It has options for all sorts of stuff. So in the next few videos, we're going to be really diving into Lost and we're going to create some really awesome grids. We're going to create some asymmetrical grids. We're going to create some vertical, some waffle grids. We're just going to create a lot of cool stuff. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, if you comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials, we love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.